Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel in the Let's Farm Iowa series here on UMRV. Uh, so we have ourselves another early afternoon start. Uh, we had some issues in the last episode like you saw and the only way that I could fix those field issues was by removing the start and spring mod. So we have done that, but that also required us to start a new save game. So we've started a new save game and we removed the start and spring mod. So obviously we are starting here on pretty much a brand new save, uh, but we're just gonna all pretend together that it we just skipped a f <laughs> ahead a few months. So uh, I spent the day pretty much trying to get all the hay cut that we did and the alfalfa cut for silage bales. So we did all that. We loaded all that up. It's all over at the uh, feed lot over there. So now, since we're in August, we... That's the wrong screen. There it is. We have that field of oats that we planted uh, and we need to get it harvested. So which is going to be this field here. We planted that in the second video, I believe. Yes, I think that was in the second video. So, planted this, gotta get it harvested now since we're in August. So we gotta get the combine fired up, the truck with the Macdon head, the grain cart, and the two trucks down there. So we are gonna be storing it in our silo bins here until we get a good price to sell it. Um, we will eventually be getting a silo over at the feedlot, and we're going to be using some oat for... Uh, what is that called? It's not... Grain grist. We're going to be using oat for grain grist. So we got the Maze Plus like grinder thing that turns like grains into grain grist so we have edited the grinder or the grain grist recipe to only be just one ingredient so it's not it doesn't have to be wheat oat and barley it's just going to be wheat or oat or barley so we're going to be using oat for grain grist in our tmr mix so yeah let's uh hop in the combine got some some moving to do so let's get in the combine here back her out of the shed I've not actually had any time to do any updates on this yet so it will be a little bit until I can get these or until I want to get these out to you guys so I don't know maybe we'll Maybe I'll try and get some stuff done on them quick. It's just, I don't know. I got another project going in the background that I've been having fun with too. I'm finally having at least two days that we're not doing seven day or seven videos a week that we can catch up on recording. So. I'll just do some follow me there. We'll get the head down as well as the combine and we will cut ourselves a little entrance. I really hope this truck does fine. It doesn't flip. How are we gonna do with our truck? Ah, we got her. We got her, right? You got her. Oh, you don't got her. Come on. He don't got her. Well, let me get this unstuck quick, and uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, we got her unstuck. Hopefully, I mean that was my bad. So nobody else to blame but me. It took that corner a little too, a little too wide.
you're gonna catch up. Alright, he's catching up, so. Uh, which entrance do we want to use? I'm going to pull in this entrance here. Just trying to figure out a way to get the head on without too much hassle. And this doesn't seem like it'll be a lot of hassle, so... There we go. Now can we back it up is the next question. I think we can do it. First time? Can we do it first time? You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You got this. You got this. Look at this. Oh, alright. Look at this. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Alright, we'll pull in with the trick. We'll just leave this here out of the way. Hop in the combine. Not hit the light pole or the electrical pole, light pole. Unfold. Turn my hazards and beacons off. So we are going to be leaving a swath. I hope you guys are enjoying these Macdon heads. I thought they were something that was... I always liked using some... Well, I don't actually even know if I used them that much in 19. There's a lot of different, like, versions of these out there, I felt like. I don't know, but... I mean, I think they were all kind of the same model, but... They weren't exactly... And they were like converted by different people? I don't know. But anyway. Go on the grass here a bit. It's our land, it doesn't matter, right? All the straw counts. That's why I am not like turning it off. Because we need all the straw we can get, so we are going to be bailing every little piece of straw that we can get. So, same with grass. I need to get that little like yard pasture thing mowed up still over by the the cattle area. So, all right, that should be good enough. Get the grain cart in and the trucks. Maybe I'll just take this headland off and then we will hop in the truck. We'll unhook the trailer and then we'll head back because I'm probably going to need the fuel tank or the fuel trailer up here. So, do that. And then we'll bring the trucks and all that stuff down as well. So, I will see you guys when I have this headland off and we are heading back to the farm to get the other equipment. Alright, so we're going to end up doing this in two different trips instead of everything together. Just to make it easier with all the equipment. We'll just get these parked up. There is two drives to this field so we're gonna pull around to this farthest one and then come back out and we'll use this entrance as our exit 
So we can have the tarp on the right side. We've got two trucks, both peats. This one has a single hopper, the other one has the double. I'm just gonna pull into the field. My one concern is if they'll be able to get out of the field with a full load. I hope so, but you just never know. I am running the Real Wheels mod, so that is always kind of the, the issue, let's just say, so... So I'm going to set an auto drive point here. When we mark, make our first trip back, I'm going to... I think this was field 48, right? 48, yeah. I'm going to make an auto drive course. 48 truck. Did it set it? Oh shoot. Truck. 48. Perfect. And then we'll just work off that one. So we'll leave these guys going. Not exactly what we wanted to do. We'll shut them down. And then uh, I think I can just click from here. Okay. We'll grab the grade cart. And then we will hit follow me on the truck. Bring it around a little wider so it doesn't have to make a weird, like, jagged turny thing. Sometimes it does. Okay, perfect. We'll have to flip the hazards on and the beacons. We'll head down. Let's see if we can make this turn a little bit better so the truck doesn't get stuck this time. That would be nice. You can do it, truck. Perfect. Let's go. Love to see that. So you might be doing some... Well, we're definitely going to be doing some course play and auto drive, but we might be doing... I might actually set up course play karting. So we have a AI, like, cart, grain cart. But... We'll see. Flip these off now. You, sir, can just park up on the side in case we need ya. Which I'm sure we will. Shut you down. Perfect. Everything's here. So, let's get going. So, yeah, I hope uh, you guys are not too upset with me that we, uh, <laughs> we're already hopping in August and harvest season. So, <laughs> it's just, it's one of those things I didn't even think about having an issue with starting spring. I mean, I don't know why anybody would think that they would just have an issue, but yeah, it's just the way it goes. Things happen, so we gotta overcome it, and this was kind of the only option that I had. I tried to use easy development and all that kind of stuff, and it just didn't. It didn't work, so we kind of reset, and We'll do it from here. So there was a few changes to the farm that I made. I did kind of take some liberties there because in the last setup, I think I did some, I made some purchasing mistakes. So we're not, like I think a few of our tillage implements are a little bit different. I think we're using a Landall ripper, like chisel plow ripper instead of the John Deere one. Uh, we did increase the horsepower of the big cat tractor a little bit. I think it's an 86 50 or 865 now instead of an 855. So I think that brings it up to like 400 horsepower instead of like 360 or something like that. So uh what else? I don't know if there's really much else. Uh, I'm trying to think. 
I think mostly everything is the same, but yeah, I think everything's the same except for like how we purchase things. So we do have a little bit more money. Uh, I think we ended up taking a lease on a, another big piece of equipment. Um, so we have a little bit more money and we don't have as much debt type of thing. We're going to have a bigger payment, but at least we have some more money. I don't know. So I just did some things a little bit different to kind of set us up better. So let's check the yield quick. Didn't look like it's yielding the best, which is to be expected with a pre-planted field. I used easy dev on these fields to get them all the way that we I mean we would have had them if we planted them. Which we did plant this one. And I did plant the soybean field across the road right across from our farm. But yeah. It just kept going back to grass, so I don't know, it was a weird one. But it is what it is, so Let's uh, see what we're at on course play here. We're on the nearest waypoint, so we should... Yeah, okay. Let's just throw him on that. And then we'll hop over and grab the green cart, because we got to get this going. Take the tarp off. We'll head over there. Looks like he's already trying to dig a, dig a little cut in there, so I can pull up beside him. This J and M card is pretty cool. I'm happy somebody converted it. I don't actually remember who. Is it Sid? I think it might have been Sid that actually brought this to night or to nineteen, right? No, it's a cool grain card, though. I like the American option and all that stuff. But. All right, look like this looks like they got a cut in for us. I think the first thing that we need to do... Interesting cut-in. Maybe useful. I think the first thing that we need to do for land-wise is probably pick up some more hay ground. I'm nervous that we're not going to have enough hay, alfalfa, clover ground. Uh, but, I don't know. Technically, this field is split in two. So we could make like a big another like hay ground here or here but yeah, I don't know we might be buying some bales in because I really doubt we're going to have enough to feed I'm hoping to get at least a hundred head to start but you're going to be young young stock so it's not going to be that big of a deal but I don't know next year I'm sure we're going to need, need quite a bit and I'm hoping to actually space the um the purchase of the cows a little bit out like we might buy like 40 at a time 40 40 20 or whatever you know and uh so then they have calves at different times too so we can kind of manage that a little bit better just kind of trying to think ahead a little bit there so yeah i don't know it's we're gonna we're gonna kind of just wing it just like i always do you know you know me at this point most of you do I like to wing it, so we're gonna figure it out. But yeah, I think I I think the goal for this series is gonna be that thousand head of cattle, which is nuts. It's gonna <laughs> it is gonna be nuts, and it's gonna be a lot of work. But I think I think it's a good goal to set. Who knows how long we'll actually run with a thousand head? But yeah, so I mean on Midwest Horizon, we were running Mace Plus, and I had three hundred total. So I had like 200 milking, 60 heifers, and 40 calves. And that felt like a lot of work. But I didn't have a very big mixer, so I was going... I had to make like four separate batches of mix every day in the morning. And then four separate batches of mix at night just for the milking cows. So I was making 14 feed mixes a day for all the cows. So... And this one, we have a bigger feed mixer with the peat feed truck. And just some bigger equipment to handle it. 
so I think we I think we can handle it but we'll see and then we have that mixing building too which will make things easier um, but anyway so we'll get them f we'll get it figured out and uh, yeah let's uh I think this is gonna be montage time so I'll catch you guys after the montage and uh, we'll see what we're up to next. So I fibbed. <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, there's no montage. It's just me again. Hey, I'm back. Because uh, I don't manage my timeline the right way yet. Um, I have made a mistake. So uh, I wanted to get in showing you guys auto drive like how I how I go about setting up my auto drive courses so there is a reason why I did that earlier so I think this load should fill this semi plenty Oof, we gotta get a little closer there Come on, bud. oh wow whoa 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 what in the world Nobody saw it. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Just swinging his auger in and out. This... One thing about this grain cart. The unload speed. Very slow. More realistic. But it's very slow. So... Just right up. Just filling it right up. We'll go over here and dump. Try to avoid the stack there on the semi. There we go. Beauty. We'll let this unload. And we will pop the tarp on. Don't want to lose any grain, right? So, and then we will throw this up. Little mini menu. And we are going to start recording Oof, the old Pete's handling it like a beast 750 bushel in here no biggie no biggie for the Pete not gonna lie I was I was a little bit worried I think I've said that already but so we'll try and stay on the right side of the road for when we come back and then we'll all kind of swing it. I'm worried that that's going to be too close for the bigger truck. Well, I like guess. Should be good, I believe, for the spot. So we're gonna just say bins, farm, bins. We'll load. That should be. That should do it. Oh, that was quick. Okay. And then we'll have them come out this way. I'll try and not make it too tight there where we're hitting the gas tank. So yeah, so this, see the left, the one on the left right there, that's our new chisel plow. And it actually has a hitch to where we can put roll or pull a roller behind it too, so that'll be nice. So we have a little sunflower roller there on the back of the chisel plow if we need it so that'll be nice I think I just said that twice that'll be, I'll say it again that'll be nice so swing it a little bit here there we go 
Yeah, just like that, we got ourselves almost an auto drive course. Could probably edit these ones a little bit so they're not in the way, but come down here. Yeah, fold, unfold our cover. Swing it. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Take care a little wide here in the field. Bring her back to the edge. And there we go. We'll, uh, get this guy. Well, we probably could just connect the two. See if I can see both. Connect. Click it. Left click, left click. Perfect. So then we can say for this guy I want you to load and dump and you are going to be truck 48 and you are going to dump at farm bins and you are going to dump wheat or oat. So he'll just pull up, right, and then he'll pull up, truck 48, wheat, bins, oat, boom, 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 look at that, we're really doing it Harry, we're really doing it, don't hit him, there we go. Isn't that clean? Isn't that smooth? No, it's like, hey, we're running a real operation here. So, pretty cool, huh? I love auto drive. Auto drive course play? I couldn't play the game without it. I'm not going to lie to you. Could not play this game without it. It's just too useful. It makes AI workers so much more useful. Everything is just... I mean, it's, it's frustrating at times, but it's also just great. <laughs> it's awesome. So, anyway, enough of me. Enough of me. Let's get to the actual montage now. And we'll see you after.
So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, this field took quite a while, about an hour and a half to fully complete. It should be about an hour and a half once we're done. So at least that's what course play said. So we do, as you may have seen in the little piece of the montage there at the end of it, we have the uh, loader tractor on the baler right now and he's starting on bailing up the straw. So we're going to need a lot of straw for our cattle. So uh, that is going to be it for this one. I think in the next episode we'll probably look into purchasing some cattle. Uh, I know that we're going to be chopping next episode because our corn is going to be ready then. So yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to doing some chopping with that John Deere. I haven't actually done anything with that. I haven't tried it yet and it's a great mod. So Tired Iron, he does a incredible job with all of his mods so um yeah i'm looking forward to running that and doing a little bit of chopping i do enjoy chopping uh, just kind of fun to me so uh we'll be putting that in the bunks so we'll see how full we can get those bunks hopefully we can at least fill one up but yeah we'll see so i uh, appreciate you for watching and as always i will catch you in the next video